G'day everyone, Gareth here from Fraser Coast Food Forest. Do a quick, uh, quick update on the jackfruit. So, if you remember, I did another, I did an update of this jackfruit already because I got my first female flower, and you can see right here we have the female flower. And I had a male that had pollen on it when I did this update and I took that male off because I didn't want to risk the male flower just rotting and then wasting its pollen. So I tried pollinating this, but it was too early. The female jackfruit flower is not ready to receive pollen yet. And I know that because now it has all the all like this fur that's coming out of these bumps the receptors and um if if you zoom in with a really good camera they look like how can i describe it they look like a tiny little worm with a black dot on the on the end of it um I, what i will try and do when i edit this video is see if I can zoom in when I edit to see if we can um, get a better example of it but I was very very lucky because up the top here I have a male and it's actually got some pollen already coming out I do, this is going to be another flower here. Um, we've got another flower possibly coming out of here and maybe even another female because if you look how thick this stem is that this is hanging on, this is quite a thick one too. So strong enough to hold on a jackfruit and this one is probably going to do the same. It'll produce this flower and then it will keep on coming out and produce another one and then another one. I do have somewhere else in here is another, here it is here. It's a lot smaller male flower, but we're gonna pollinate with that. And then later on down the track, I'm gonna pollinate with that one as well. And we did have a really small one somewhere else as well, but I'm not too sure where it's gone. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to snap this one off. I could probably leave it another day and it may even produce more pollen, but I think looking at it, it is pretty much all over it. So we're going to snap that off. Hopefully the camera will be able to pick up that pollen that's on there. And then we're going to cover and use all of this pollen, or most of it, I'm gonna to try to. I can see the pollen falling off, but I'm hoping all of those hairs are gonna be catching on, catching this pollen. I wanna make sure we do a really good job too, being the very first jackfruit. I'm just gonna use my finger to get to the back of it and hopefully this works like I said we've got another one up there another another male I've literally scraped all of the pollen off this might as well use as much as we can Wow, this is super exciting. I cannot wait, this better work. This jackfruit tree has produced 50 plus male flowers. It gets very, very frustrating when, as you can see, most of that pollen's gone now. 
So we'll discard that, we'll chuck that down there and we'll cross fingers. This will work, it should, I can't see why it wouldn't, but we have got a backup little tiny flower there that's gonna produce some pollen soon, maybe within a week. And we'll just add it to it. I can't imagine it doing any harm. But um, yeah, so 50 plus male flowers this tree's produced. You can see how big it is. I have pruned the top of this tree twice now to keep it at a nice good height. Um, when this tree matures a bit more, I'll probably get rid of a couple of these bottom branches, take more of the center out, like here, and then just have it, keep it very low. So jackfruits are, are pr jackfruits will pretty much produce all male flowers um, before they produce your female. Um, you know, 30, 40, 50 plus males before they'll push out a female. So it's super exciting because every time it, may, it produces a flower, you pray to God that it's uh, it's going to be a female. In fact, I think if you look at the, apart from the hairs, I'm pretty sure this crown that goes around here lifts up. And you can kind of see it sort of got a gap there now. And um, I think that may be another way of telling if it's time to pollinate. So that's my jackfruit update. The other jackfruits are, um, are probably another season away. We're getting a lot of new growth coming out of these. I've got some low, low branches coming out. This is the graft right down here. But I'm gonna let these go see if it starts see if these because it's on the trunk that might produce start producing some flowers this season possibly because that's kind of a telltale when you're on these main branches and then this is a bit older this one um, this is that's the only grafted variety i've got the others are seedlings the one that we've just pollinated is an unknown variety this variety here is the Galaxy, and a very, very healthy tree, I must add. The Galaxy has really, really done well. The, the um, unknown is actually um, starting to look a lot better than it ever used to. It, it, it kind of looked like this for a long, long time. You know? A lot of tatty leaves, browning leaves, and this is um, this is what it used to look like. This is going to be close to pruning the top of these off. So that's my three jackfruits. I actually had four jackfruits, and um, I kind of forgot about the fourth one because it was in here, but it's dead. That's the little stick sticking up there. It used to be in there. I'm too sure why it died. But there we go. The unknown jackfruit variety. Now pollinated. Let's cross fingers. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I, honestly, I will try to answer most comments occasionally you get dickheads to be honest occasionally that happens all right i'll see you in the next video everyone take care bye